All right, I want to do a video here exposing the hypocrisy of the Stephen Anderson cult, which I've been covering for many, many years. Uh, this guy is just beyond wicked, such a stinking hypocrite. It's just funny, really. Here you have uh, Paul Wittenberger's page on FramingTheWorld.com. This is Stephen Anderson's filmmaker. Uh, and this guy has aspirations to be a big shot in Hollywood. Let me show you that. Okay, this is his website here. Here is the official IMDb page here, Paul Wittenberger. So this is who he is here. You can see he's known for Marching to Zion, the Book of Revelation, After the Tribulation, and the Green Hornet, secular movies. Now, what these people do, these Bathlicks that support this nonsense, they'll say, well, Brother Paul was in Hollywood, and then he came out of it. Uh, no. Look down here. We have Duel of Legends. This is a secular film. It's going to be released in 2018. Wittenberger helped on that. The Sighting, another secular film. Yeah, I mean, they're all secular films, but you know what I'm saying here. Uh, Truth About Hinduism, I guess that's supposed to be a Christian film or something like this. Uh, professing Themselves to Be Wise. Marching to Zion, 2015. Made after he was working in this thing, this TV series, Hell's Kitchen. Ten episodes of that. The Amazing Race. Do you believe in magic? Okay, 2014, at the same time that he's making New World Order Bible versions. Isn't that something? The Book of Revelation in 2013, as he's working, he's doing this while he's also working on the Knight of the Templar. <laughs> the Roman Catholic Order of Knights Templar. Making a movie about it. After the Tribulation 2012, as he's also working with Bad Blood. Yeah, buddy. Hardcore Hearts, Gaffer, and then it goes down through Known Universe. Leave the Green Hornet Chasing 3000. Kill Speed Junkyard Dog, Alfonso Bow, Swing Human Wrecking Balls, The Black Waters of Echoes, Echoes Pond, Opposite Day. I'm not going to read all these things here. Um, the Race to Witch Mountain, that sounds like a good one. You know, um, down through here. Get back down in here, and then here's, of course, the Sodomite propaganda film, the Itty Bitty Titty Committee thing, 2007, um, all this different stuff. And then he's a director here, 10 credits, Babylon USA, that's his newest one, that wasn't listed on this thing, that's 2017, uh, that's the big thing, that's what we're going to be talking about here, 10 years of Faithful Word Baptist Church anniversary video, 2015. Making this video while working in Hollywood. Yeah. Faithful Word Baptist Church TV series. 15 episodes. TV series. Faithful Word Baptist Church. Marching to Zion. This is the stuff he's been a director of. There's all the different things. Um, going down through there. Producer, Babylon USA. Again, that one. Book of Revelation down through there. Cinematographer. Down through there, editor, again these are his videos, uh, sound department, writer, uh, miscellaneous crew, crank, that sounds, I don't know what that's about, but you know, all these down through here, you know, so again, this is his official film career page, hmm, now I wanted to show you that first because I want to show you a preacher that's very much opposed to Hollywood. Got any ideas who that might be? How about this one right here? Let's just, we'll listen to what the old uh, Pastor Anderson has to say. And you need to think about this too, by the way, if you're a follower of this guy. Look at the hypocrisy. Oh, you know who's great? Real life people that don't work in Hollywood, that don't make a bunch of wicked movies, that aren't ungodly wicked whoremongers, that are just God-fearing people who go to church. Amen. You know, God-fearing people go to church. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> but, you know, the people that are great are those that don't work in Hollywood. Hmm. You mean like uh, your film producer, Paul Wittenberger, Larry Anderson? Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's just tough, isn't it? Let's see what else he has to say about movie theaters. Period. End of story. Because every movie that they come out with, 
And, and, and sometimes they'll even come out with a really good movie that has a good message and everything's great, but there'll always be one thing in it that's really bad. And really, the devil just uses all the good stuff in the movie just to get you in there to see that pornographic scene. Or, just, you know, whatever it is that slipped it, what, the agenda, the message. I wouldn't trust Hollywood to just educate me and just put whatever garbage in my mind. That's why I don't believe that you should watch TV. You shouldn't go to movies because it's just all programming of this world and of Satan. But I read up on this no talking about this Noah movie that came out years ago but this is uh, 2014 April 11th 2014 you shouldn't go to movies you know that's just wicked satanic agenda well I agree with that and uh, their movie is one of those this Babylon USA thing I mean just think about this for a minute Babylon USA totally excuses the Roman Catholic wickedness that they did and are still doing to this very day the Roman Catholic control through all their knighthoods, through the Jesuit order, through all this horrible stuff that's always going on. It's just, well, yeah, the Vatican's bad, but the real enemy is America. You know, I mean, forget the tens of millions that have been of Christians that have been slaughtered by Roman Catholicism. Well, yeah, it's just that's bad, but America is the one that's going to get wiped out in Revelation 17. He's covering up for the Vatican. Let's. See a little bit more here. Again, shouldn't go to movie theaters. You know, it's you know. And he said earlier in that one about Noah. He said about how he hasn't been to a movie theater in many, many years and things. You know, actually, let me let me show you that real quick here. I think I have it written down the time stamp of that one. Nineteen seconds into the thing, I think. Right about here. Because I've seen enough Bible movies to know that they have nothing to do with the Bible. <laughs> I've seen enough Bible movies to know that they have nothing to do with the Bible. Again, speaking very well of his, his own stuff. But listen to what he says here. This is, uh, that was three years ago. Now you have May 15th, 2017. We're planning on playing it at the movie theater here in Tempe, Arizona on the 4th of July, which is obviously the perfect date to come out with a movie called Babylon USA. And you can watch the whole video, so I'm not taking him out of context. He is, oh, we're going to be playing this in the movie theater. What changed? I thought you didn't go to the movies. I thought that, you know, preachers in the past, Baptist preachers especially, would preach against the movie theater. Hmm. See, there's an agenda here to get his followers into movie theaters. Don't tell me that there isn't. Watch this here for a little bit. Hello, I'm Pastor Stephen Anderson of Faith Word Baptist Church, Tempe, Arizona. Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. I'm really excited about the release. Same intro all the time. It's programmed. This is our new film, Babylon USA. It's really close to being done. Mm -hmm. I've watched the rough draft of the film. It's awesome. And so I am really excited about this thing finally getting out after all the time and, and effort that's gone into it. Well, July 4th is the release date that we're shooting for because obviously the 4th of July is a perfect date to release a film like Babylon USA and I'm confident that it's going to be done by then. So here's how the release is going to work for this. When the movie's just finished and, and we have it in hand, the first thing we're going to do is play it at a theater here in Phoenix. We're trying to do that on July 4th itself. We were having a little trouble booking a theater on a date like July 4th because it's a holiday but that's what we're striving for otherwise it'll be within a few days of that but we're gonna play it at a theater here in Phoenix Arizona then we've also booked a screening for it at a theater in Toronto Canada August 5th and that's about that's exactly right around the time when the DVDs are gonna ship out as well because the movie's gonna be finished uh, at the beginning of July but it takes time to manufacture the DVDs so it'll be in a theater in Phoenix, 4th of July, and then DVDs will ship out the uh, very beginning of August, like August 5th. So between those two times, what we would like to do is have this movie playing in movie theaters all across America. Because how cool would it be to see this film on the big screen with all the sound design and, and just the experience of, uh, of seeing it in a theater a once in a lifetime. So let me get this straight. They're following the Hollywood script of doing things. 
it's going to be in theaters and then the DVD will come out later. Theaters. We want to get this thing in theaters all across America. Do you see how you're being conned, followers of Steven Anderson? Do you see how Paul Wittenberger, the professional Hollywood guy, is literally conning you people? Baptist preachers in the past opposed movie theaters. They opposed the whole Hollywood industry. But now you get, oh, uh, we, you know, we, we got to get this into theaters all across the country. Try hard to get it into theaters near you. Does it register? Still not yet, huh? Babylon USA, the official trailer in theaters July 4th. Just like Hollywood does it. I mean, what's next? Um, I think that we're going to start to sell the, the DVDs in porn shops because we can reach more people. <laughs> I mean, can you wake out of this if you're one of Anderson's followers? Here you have, you know, the great pastor in the theater. Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. We're at the Super Cinemas 8 up here in North Phoenix. For the first of two showings today for Babylon USA, as you can see, the theater is packed out here. Uh, this is only half of, of the group because we have half the people watching the movie at 5 o'clock. The other half are going to see it at 7 o'clock. So, really excited. This is the premiere. I mean, this is really the first time anybody's seeing it. Besides, Yeah, just in theaters. The same seats that sat people watching R-rated movies. And that's okay. It's okay. Because the lost world can watch you. They can look and they can see, oh, these uh, Christians are going into the same place we go. I mean, just, just play it in bars. Play it in strip clubs. Play it wherever. There are no, there is no good or evil anymore, I guess, apparently. You just, you know, do evil that good may come. Let me show you the scripture on that real quick. Romans chapter 3, verse 8. It says about, and not rather as we be slanderously reported and as some firm that we say, people are lying about Paul saying that Paul's saying this, and it's that's not true. This is not what a Christian says. Let us do evil that good may come. Let's go to the movie theater. Let's do things the world's way. Why? So that good may come. Hey, we'll wake up somebody. Maybe somebody will get saved. Let's get into the movie theaters and play our Christian films. And what does Paul say about it? whose damnation is just. Anderson's going to take you to hell with him, with his false gospel, and just so many points. He lines up with Roman Catholicism, and here he's making a whole film, a whole propaganda film, covering up for their crimes, the blood of the martyrs that have been shed by the Catholics for centuries. And now it's just, oh, excused, it's all America's fault. just makes me sick to my stomach. And by the way, let me just share another little scripture with you here. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18. No, 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 no. Excuse me, not that. Verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Um, going into a movie theater is the appearance of evil. Don't tell me it isn't. I mean, how can you witness to some lost person and say, hey, you know what? You need to stay away from movie theaters and things like this. Well, I saw you there. You had a whole event there. You know, here, here's Anders Snake and movie, movies behind him and stuff. Captain Underpants right there. Just, just hang around and just talk about how America is Babylon now and this wicked, wicked, horrible place. And don't tell me that they're not giving them money that this movie theater isn't making money off of this. You know, Christians in the past would have stood outside of movie theaters and said, don't you dare go into that place and prayed for God to shut down the movie theater. Oh, but now we can go in and we can, we can play our Christian films there. You need to wake up. And here you got this guy. This cracks me up. The Brother Manley here, he's another one of Lando Andersnake's little preacher boys. Check this out. Listen to what he says. All right. We are going to be going soul winning and following. We're going to break for lunch. Uh, so the movies probably, you know, go from 10 to 12, break for lunch, and then we'll go soul winning a couple hours. 
good opportunity for you to come out and see a good movie for free and uh, get some soul winning done. So I hope you'll come visit with us. All right, thank you so much. Have a super day. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Come to the movie theater to watch a stupid, ridiculous propaganda film for the Vatican, you know, covering up the Vatican's crimes, and then they're going to have lunch, and then they're going to go soul winning. Because nothing gets you in the mood for winning souls like going to a movie theater. I mean, you know, truth is, is stranger than fiction. You ever heard that? You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. Baptists, we're conservative Baptist brother. You know, old path Baptist church, old path Baptist church here, you know, pastor manly and everything, you know come on down to the movie theater and we're going to watch the film and then we're going to have lunch and then we're going to go soul winning. Amen. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, and here you have old, uh, I call him Jiminy Cricket. Can't stand to listen to this guy. He's just a screaming little girl. We're but going to be showing it at the this. Cinetopia Mill Plain. The address is one. Cinetopia. We're going to be showing our Christmas, our, our Christian, oh, we're going to be showing our Christ, Christian film at Cinetopia. Because that's important, you know. It's very important. You know, and there's another one. Babylon, USA, Richmond, Virginia, Premier. You know, all this stuff. Here's what it's about. Right here. A professional Hollywood film guy. Still working in Hollywood. He has ambitions. He's a career guy. Sure, absolutely. You think he's going to leave Hollywood? Of course not. He's riding the wave of the future. The wave of the future is the movement of the Antichrist, the Antichrist being Roman Catholic. Guaranteed. And what these guys are looking out into the future, seeing, and there's others that have come out, you know, with Christian movies are trying to make them mainstream. You know why? Because eventually it's going to be the Vatican that has total control over Hollywood. And by the way, they already do with the ratings. They already set the ratings. It's up to the Catholicism. All right. Check it out. Check me out on that. Yeah. But the whole thing is the future is going to be propaganda films for the Vatican. So why not get started? Why not get started as a independent Baptist coming out making films, working for Hollywood, Hell's Kitchen, while producing a Marching Design, the propaganda film against the nation of Israel, the Jewish people, using clips from Nazi Germany's, the Jews and their lies. Wait, you better wake up to this whole thing. Baptists years ago wouldn't have stood for this. I'm not, I don't even call myself a Baptist. I used to, but I don't even call myself a Baptist. I'm a King James Bible believing Christian. That's what I am. But I'll tell you right now, I know about old time Baptists. I studied under them. I've met some of them. I've listened to them, their sermons. I've read their books. And Baptists years ago, Methodists years ago, would, would try to shut down theaters, movie theaters and things like that. They preached hard against movie theaters. And now you get professing Baptists and they're going in there and they're going to movie theaters and saying, we got to get our movie into the theaters. Let's get it in theaters all over the country. Wouldn't it be cool? <laughs> you better get away from Steven Anderson. I've been warning people for years about this guy. He's a fake. He's a fraud. He's totally fake. He's making merchandise of you people. You better get away from him.